What's up, junkies? Jason here from BowJunkie.com, bringing you this week's No Stupid Question segment. And this week, we're actually taking, you know, like we always do, right off of the Facebook page. But this is a question that comes from Matt Jacobs. So shout out to Matt Jacobs. And the question is this. It says, can you guys settle an argument with me and some shot friends that we are having? Does Chance shoot a string stop on? If not, why? Some of us think it's less accurate and some think it's more. Your thoughts? Well, Matt, here's the deal. I told you on Facebook, and I think Chance had answered you too. I'm not really sure. Um, but we have actually been talking about this lately because I brought it up as well. And last week when I was down at Chance's, it was me and Chance and Dan McCarthy and Emmy, of course. And we were talking about this. And I had asked Chance why he doesn't have a string stop on his bow. And for Chance, the only reason why is because when he gets his bows in, he peels, he completely breaks his bow down um, to just the, the, the bare bow. He re-greases stuff, as you guys saw in the Presley video, and he installs his strings, whatever strings he wants to have on them. And when he goes to tune it, he already has it off, and so he tunes the bow for, for, for you know, perfection for him, and he just flat doesn't ever put it back on. So he doesn't have anything against it, um, but he doesn't have anything that's, you know, crazy um, uh, advantage to having it either. Um, <clears throat> so that's his point of view. I asked Danny the same thing, and Danny said, Danny gave a more um, technical reason, but Danny said that he doesn't want anything on his bows that um, is not absolutely necessary, that's not needed. So anything that goes along the lines of shot noise vibration, um, sh uh, string noise vibration, any of that stuff, McCarthy pulls it off because that's one more thing that can break and it's one more thing that can go wrong. So that's Dan's reason for not using it. Um, does Dan use it on his hunting bow? I think he might. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to ask. My personal preference is, is I'm not shooting Vegas. All I am is a diehard bow hunter. I'm the one that's kind of, you know, I I'm your voice for, for, for the hunting side of it. I love them. Um, you know, I get used to trying to, I want to eliminate as much noise. I want to eliminate as much vibration. That's just me. That's just how I particularly like the feel of a bow, especially when you're getting into these really rigid risers that, you know, do transfer vibration and noise and all that other stuff. Um, I like them. Now, a simple rule of thumb is, is for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, a string stop is these right here. They come on pretty much all bows nowadays. Um, a, three or four years ago is when they really started hitting the market. But what it does is it comes off the back of your riser and it, it uh, eliminates so that your string comes and hits an exact point every single time you fire the bow. Um, when you're setting these things up, guys, it's really important that you don't have these string stops up against the string or too far away from the string. The general rule of thumb is that you should be able to put a credit card between the string and the stop. That's a good starting point. Every bow is gonna have its own little sweet spot. I haven't found it yet here for the new DNA because it just showed up and I haven't even, um, I haven't even put a, thought or a dozen arrows through it yet. So I'm still finding the sweet spot on this and I gotta do some other stuff with some tweaking and, and tuning it. But, um, that's that's kind of the rule of thumb here for you know for the string stops that's the debate it's really personal preference neither one of them thinks that there's an advantage or a disadvantage of having it it's just an added accessory you either like it or you don't so stick with us you know keep putting your questions over on the facebook page or tweet them to us we're always answering your guys's questions for everybody out there looking for information on gear <laughs> i'm just going to answer this this is another free no stupid question segment we are going to have gear. We're going to have gear soon. Um, we will have gear available at the IBOs and ASAs this year, but not this weekend down in Gainesville. So for all of you asking about gear and when hats can be available, we're doing hats first. We're working on them, so bear with us. And uh, we really appreciate all support. I'll bet you we've got 100 hats sold already just from everybody from Australia to England. It's been awesome. It's been absolutely awesome. So we really appreciate the support. As always, shoot straight, hunt hard. God bless, and we'll see you next week right here at bowjunkie.com.